totally, totally spend time in that pool out there, but I didn't bring a bathing suit. So, I'm not gonna spend time in the pool, but I think we're gonna chill out for right now and later on maybe do some shopping and I've gotta go get a straightener. I actually forgot my straightener. So this is the way that I wake up. I go back inside. <laughs> So, there we go. This, this is how I wake up. I'm a fuzzy headed kind of gal. There we go. Just gonna turn on some lights. But then I see, how about if I go in the bathroom? Oh, surprise! There I am. I look very bad right now, but. I was in the midst of getting ready and then last night I realized I did not have my straightener and my hair is not curly, it's not straight, it's kind of that fuzzy in between stuff and there's not a whole lot I could do with it without my straightener so I'm going to get ready, drive 20-30 minutes to Walmart, pick up a straightener. I've tried 20 or 30 minutes back, fix my hair, and then we can go and do things. <sighs> Me and my crazy packing, I always forget something. And it's usually the straightener or something crazy like a toothbrush. Okay, so I am finally ready, and me and my fuzzy hair are gonna go to Walmart. There's no, um, mirror so I have on my new um, Steve Madden belt so there you go have on my Walmart giant thin plaid top but I love this shirt so much I torrid jeans and I don't remember the size or I would tell you um, talking to somebody yesterday in Walmart we were there late looking around and of course I didn't know I needed a straightener until we got back but I was talking to a lady and she uh, she was on a scooter but she had on one of those Sherpa jackets which I did I got a Sherpa jacket pullover last night so I'm really excited Walmart you stepped up your game but we were just talking about how difficult it used to be to find clothes for women who were a little bit larger who were curvy and now we're able to find cute things because you know i was born to be curvy j-lo beyonce all of those people have made it more of a um, uh, acceptable thing to be a curvy woman with the behind oh and the kardashians so thanks to them as curvy girls have some clothes now and it is acceptable and now all of those people who were sick then back in the 80s that wanted the curve I mean didn't want the curves everybody wanted to be sick then now they want the curves so what are you gonna do I'm loving it uh, though I can find clothes so um, there are so many choices right now at Walmart so you curvy girls go out there you get you some clothes from Walmart because they're inexpensive that Sherpa jacket pullover was like $19 they do have them for like $10 I just like to have them a little bit longer we didn't make the bed because we're on vacation so sorry about the uh, the mess behind me but it's vacation time. All right. Well, I guess we're gonna head on to Walmart and uh, then we'll see where the day takes us. The Tipsy Turtle Seaside Bar and Grill. There you go. Oh, it's very dark. Hello, hello. We are exploring, I guess, before we go and take care of my fuzzy hair which is crazy crazy hair look yeah 
There is the beach. So cool. We are right on the beach. Yeah, yes, this is our hotel. Oh, well, it's very hot in here. Okay, this is our hotel. It's very nice, and it is at the Holiday Inn something. It's Holiday Inn, that's all I know. Like, there's not a sign for me to tell you. Oh, there is. Holiday Inn Club Vacations, Galveston Beach Resorts. So, if you want to stay somewhere nice and you're in Galveston, this is pretty darn nice. I told John this is where I want to move. I want to live here. He wants me to show you these. <laughs> Little boxes made of ticky tacky. <laughs> You never watched Weeds. <laughs> you never watched Weeds, you won't know what we're talking about, but anyway. Uh, yeah, so I told John that I would like to live here at some point and uh, retire in this area. I think that would be beautiful. And you said... Hell yeah. Hell yeah. This is where we thought our hotel was last night but that is condos actually so yes please I would like a condo there's a trailer park out there though we could just get a trailer and live out there that might make sense oh no this is where we thought our hotel was because it's so big and these are also condos and these are condos and then they have strip malls all along the way which just seems so weird for the beach the beach guys the camera doesn't do it justice it's gorgeous it's warm it's not cold like we thought it was gonna be it's not raining thank you Jesus oh my gravy an espresso bar uh, espresso bar where? At the 24 hour pier. Oh, okay. The Oh, the pier's 24 hours? Oh, that's... I, I, yeah, I don't know. I was like, that's why. <laughs> that's why. But, and to park over here, it used to be free to park on the beach yeah, area get, side. We get stopped by the Segway cop. <laughs> yes. But now they have pay by phone parking and park mobile you have to get an app which I got when we were in Houston last um, and you have to pay to park on the beach side so it's all PayPal it, yeah but let me just tell you there is a guy that drives up and down like John was saying that rides a Segway that is like the I guess he's the parking police because he rides up and down on a little segue and he the tells you man. the meter me yeah he's something we're gonna find some pizza and oh yeah I'm starving it's like one o'clock now and I haven't eaten yet I'm fixing to get pizza and I got my straightening iron actually got the double ceramic con air flat iron so that was about the closest one that I could get and it's got the beautiful I don't know where I put it new ceramic plates on it mine is so old a nano has lasted me for a good I would say probably 12 years now so the plates on mine are very worn out but 
this has got brand new pretty ceramic plates on it so I'm kind of excited about that oh. and it's got like a locking mechanism down at the bottom that locks it closed so then you don't have to keep it open which is cool see that locking feature there nice I so know I know hands, you're like, like, so you don't burn your hands is that what that's for oh uh, no I'll probably still burn my hand I burned my hand the other day just so made for some pizza we stepped on the elevator yesterday and it smelled like pizza somebody had went got pizza and brought it home to their condo so um yeah we were craving pizza last night Use the right lane to take the Texas 87 North Rail. we are heading to go get the pizza imagine living on the water it's so fast Got our pizza and I couldn't wait to eat. I had to have a bite right now. Well, what's the verdict? Nice. Mm-hmm. Good. Delicious. Good vacation food. Oh yeah. It's delicious. Like I needed to eat right then because Oh, I like how they shredded the chicken on there. Mm-hmm. It's not big globs of funky chicken. Yeah. This is very good. It's very tasty. It's called Mama's, Mama Teresa's Flying Pizza. I wish I got it a little bit more crispy, but it was probably was crispy before they put it in the box. Yeah. It's so good, though. Mm. And they, they actually... People are staring at me. I'm doing this. They actually shredded the chicken, so it's not big chunk. Usually you get chicken and it's like massive, massive chunks. And the chicken is usually nasty, but this chicken is actually pretty good. I like it. And I like how instead of tomato sauce, they put the actual tomatoes. Oh yeah, I didn't notice that. There's no sauce on it. It's just the tomatoes. And the, that's why, the that's leaves, why I like it a lot. The spinach, is that spinach in there? Yeah, spinach. So it's got the tomatoes and the spinach on it, but there's no um, tomato oh, like sauce, that. which I like, because I don't like tomato sauce a whole lot. I've never been one for tomato sauce. So anyway, we're going to sit here and look pretty and eat our pizza. So cool. <laughs> I got my hair straightened, y'all. What do we think? <laughs> it's funny how, like, something that little can make that big of a difference in how you feel. So, now we are going to go out and spend the day playing. No thanks to me. <sighs> of all the things to forget. But I do like that new chi iron, so... Thumbs up for that one. Okay, so we talked about going antiquing. That seems to be one of the things that I want to do. And my husband's just like, I'm along for the ride, so whatever. So I'm thinking that I'll probably go antiquing. Our bellies are full, right? Good, yeah. <laughs> had plenty of hydration and caffeine and now we need to go walk off all this vacation food that we've been putting in our bellies <laughs> I got the old Fitbit on go oh, there it is I got the old Fitbit on it's real hard to see because it's very light out here but it's dark in the camera um, yeah so get some steps in I got my sparkling water. I love these things. They're awesome. It's a little overcast over here by the water, but it was really, really pretty closer to the strand. So uh, maybe we'll take in some strand stuff and have dinner over there or something. Maybe, baby. Who knows? He's open. 
and so am I. We're like not on the time schedule and we have no place we have to be and no place we need to go. We're just kind of going where the wind blows. Going where the wind blows us. That is a weird feeling. I am not on anybody's schedule. Nobody needs to eat by 1.30. Nobody needs to have their diaper changed before bed. <sighs> I took a picture of us last night on the ferry and my mom called me and said, you look like you were 10 years younger. And I think that was just me being less stressed. Did see a lot of dolphins though. That was really, really cool. They were like jumping right out of the ferry. That was so awesome. How can you be stressed when you're watching dolphins jump? I don't think you can. I just don't think you can. <laughs> I have to tell I have to tell them the story about the words and I don't remember the exact amount of words, so you may have to help me with this, but back whenever we were younger we went to a uh, marriage seminar at our church and it was uh, the guy was telling me that um, or telling everybody sorry let me let me back up rewind okay so in this marriage seminar the preacher was saying that men only use 10,000 words a day. And usually, once they get home, they're done. They've used up their 10,000 words. They're good to go. No more. Women, on the other hand, use 25,000 words a day. Am I using the right numbers? Close enough. Okay. 25. The ratio is like yeah. 250,000, I think, for a it's not. It's not. The women use a lot more words. Thousands and thousands more words. So generally whenever they get home from work or they get with their husbands, they're ready to talk, visit, chat, release all those words. We have a lot of things to say. We need to say them. And the men already used all their 10,000 words I think with his in his case it's usually more like 25 words and then he's done for the day <laughs> so yeah uh, tell him this vlog was really helping me to be able to use up my words and not have to drive him insane but I think sometimes he worries because I've used my words to talk to the vlog and then he comes home and I'm not really talking as much and he's like what's wrong with you I'm like nothing nothing at all so yeah I've been using up my words and I think it's freaking him out a little bit so yeah pretty much am convinced that we're for sure going to move to the beach and live at the beach and We'll just keep all of our real valuable stuff in a grab-and-go container, you know, like pictures and things like that, so that if, God forbid, we had to leave, we can just head over to Houston, hang out with my bro, and we'll have all our valuables. You just put all that stuff in the cloud these days. Yeah, but we've got a lot of stuff that you know pre-cloud stuff that does not it's not gonna go into a cloud right now because I'm not gonna do it that sounds like a lot of work so this is a different um, reality life out here goes a lot slower except for the tourists life out here seems to be kind of chill People are not worried. They're not rushing around, stressed, trying to get here and there. They're just really chill. But tourists that come out here, not so much. There's not a lot of uh, 
chill dogging that goes on. Except for this guy, he's gonna just chill at the light. He's chilling. Or she's chilling. No, no, no. Okay. Okay. All right, we're going this way. All right, well, that's when I end the vlog, whenever my tummy feels like it's gonna fall out of my colon. Because I'm freaked out. It's super bad. We made our way to Moody Gardens on accident. Little Schlitter Bond right there. I've never been to Schlitter Bond, but we've been to many water parks in our lives. So. Uh, I think they got a lot of indoor stuff. We got Faith and Family Day going on right now. Is that what it is? Uh, that's what it said. Side of that is at Moody Gardens. So if you don't know what that is, you should definitely look it up because it's pretty cool. I <laughs> am yeah, for sure. For sure, I would love to live in a condo so that I don't have to do anything. We can have the pool and all the amenities and not have to do any of the work comes with having all that stuff. Like whenever you have a pool, the amount of suck that comes with it is incredibly hard. It's bad. So, I mean, Mr. Man here, he does all of the pool maintenance and God bless him to heaven. He is the best at it. But he got sick and then he had shoulder problems and now our pool is not the prettiest. It's not the prettiest pool in town. But our friends actually have a pool and because after the storm they had to drain it and they're, it's been drained for a while because he's having to um, pressure wash it and they're still rebuilding their home. They just now got back in and it's been a year, so. Um, That's what I'm gonna have to do with ours is drain it and ask it wash it again. Yeah. It's just, it's a lot of work. It's a lot of, like I said, it's a lot of suck. But um, it's been worth it. When the kids were young, especially, it was worth it. And I'm sure once we have grandkids, it's really going to be worth it. It's really going to be fun to watch them have a good time in the pool at some point. So, oh, here we are. floppy pets. What's a floppy pet? <laughs> I want to go to a floppy pet. Well, I don't know. Floppy pets sounds like rabbits, and I'm allergic to rabbits, cats, and rabbits. All right, there's a lot of people and a lot of stuff going on, so I'm going to close it up here for a minute, and we'll be back.
get closer to me. Let's get closer. So we have been shopping all over the Strand. Did you have a good time? I'm having a great time. Yeah. It's fabulous. Say yeah, cheese. Yeah, me too. <laughs> <laughs> we might say it faster. <laughs> Uh, anyway, um, let me get over here by you. So we've been shopping all over the Strand and all we bought was popcorn, fudge, and a Red Bull. I don't think we've- That's been, all we need. Oh, and lottery tickets. And lottery tickets. So if I win the lottery, yep. we'll all be vlogging. Vlogging. That's it. We'll all be vlogging. Yep. You won't have to hold your own camera. You have somebody hold your camera for you. Right? Nice. That would be cool. We actually, um, there are some people from my side of the family who actually did win the lottery down the line a little bit like cousins. And they got their own TV show for a little while. And... Called the Beverly Hillbillies. It, it was basically, <laughs> it was the Beverly Hillbillies come to town. They, uh... They would get their lottery winnings every month and they would call it mailbox money. Nice. They all live on a, um, like a plot of land. They all live on a plot of land together that, uh, they're all just raising families and being rich. That's it. They do nothing else. They just be. And That's they got neat. a TV show from it. Wow. So, here's to hoping we win the lottery. A view of everything. An old man on a park bench. Hello, old man. How are you today? What? Killing me. I'm killing you? No. I'm just showing my little piece of the world right now. Vacation vibes. I got it looking more like, um, more like, uh, New Orleans now. It's really nice. So we're back in the hotel. I'm having a drink and we're just chilling. We have to check out tomorrow at I think about 10. So getting ready, packing everything up. And then we'll probably just uh, just chill out. What's wrong with my eyes? Anyway, we'll probably just chill out for the rest of the evening and tomorrow we'll have to go back at some point. Maybe. Maybe. We may not have to if I can talk him into staying, hanging out away from the house one more day. Who knows? Because you know when you go back you gotta do stuff. Even if it's unintentional, you gotta do stuff. So. Anyway, I'm gonna chill with my drink, but I just thought I'd let y'all know what was going on. 